Hey Randomize here, welcome to another Other Gear video. So this is the updated fodder guide. I had a quick look at my old video. It was recorded on an iPad when I was traveling for, uh, was it for vacation or for work? I don't remember, but uh, it's about time I got an updated version. And uh, of course, this is going to be me teaching you how to raise a six star or level 60 unit in about uh, 20 sorry two hours or less um, that's around the uh, the time it takes for me on uh, JP but of course it might be higher just because we're starting out so to do this efficiently you have to understand the breakdown of uh, the unit typing so we have our five star four star three star units that we use um, to uh, to play the game those are units we use in content and to fight and uh, there are other units called fodders and um, other people may call them food or uh, doggos uh, if you're an epic seven player but uh, no matter they're essentially what you feed to other units and uh, to go over them and make things bit more complicated you also have those uh, alphors or alphas and uh, these are um, fodders that come with maximum level so we can see here that you know the blue ones come at uh, three star range and then they have uh, levels uh, they already have they already are level 30s or the max leveled so you know, what you want to do is you want to feed those robot looking fodders to them and after you feed three the uh, alphas well, or the alpha's alpha will be uh, uh, four starred. So then it becomes a four star fodder. And then the purple ones already come as four stars. So you feed four star fodders into it, and then they will become uh, five star after you feed them. So a couple of things that you should know um, and mistakes to avoid. First of all, a lot of you ask, you know, why don't we just use these as uh, part of the uh, fodders team? Um, and what I mean by fodders team is when we do EX farming, mostly events, that's where it's the most efficient use of stamina, uh, we put one team captain or doggo walker or fodder farmer or whatever you call it and you put three fodder so this is what my ex2 team looks like right and uh, you know if your grace was a bit more built or you have another unit that can sustain itself you can do ex3 but it's essentially one carrying three units and because the one carrying is usually max level the other three units will be gaining all the exp there's minimal exp loss because you're carrying three units instead of two or one uh, but it works out quite nicely for your stamina usage so as they level up and as they reach max level you can feed them and uh, there is a very good function called quick startup and when you click on that so this is for example all of these what i farmed during the event and they're fodders and this is alphas that we came with maximum levels so you do star up and uh, that's first trick you should know that there is a star up system we can just click quick star up and um you see that uh, after they become four stars, they can now be fed to the five star, or the, sorry, the four star purple alphas, uh, and then they will turn to five stars to upgrade your max level five stars into six stars. And as you go up in stars, your level cap increases by 10. So five stars level cap 50, six stars level cap 60. And everyone can become a six star unit. So those are some tips and tricks. And uh, what you don't want to do is, um, I talked about in my previous video, you don't want to use uh, your other units, for example, these units as fodders. It's much better to sell them if you've max imprinted or you have a copy of a max imprinted unit uh, because you get silver coins. So don't do that. And you don't want to use uh, max leveled um, alphas also as fodders because if you feed them into each other, uh, you essentially wasted all the EXP from these three units. So you only want to feed units that just got to the star level um, or that just um, uh, are at level one and is enough to be fed into it. So don't do that. Uh, don't make that mistake. And another thing is people ask me, you know, why don't I have, you know, alphas uh, as the um, uh, as part of the team and just have three because they do have a 3% EXP, uh, EXP the gain increase. Uh, I would not recommend that because um, if you look at your team composition and the thing I showed earlier, uh, if you look at your team composition in the fodder teams, you actually can only carry three units and they cannot be the same unit. So you can't select and have three alphas, alphas in it and to benefit from the 3% HP, right? So you can only have three of these uh, dummy, uh, dummy looking uh, fodders. 
and I'm just going to head over to my uh, JP account. And what I mean by, you know, you can really, really farm really fast is if you go into the event and let's say you go into the EX3 and of course we'll have the Shura equivalent. And then this is my event farming team. Now it's same three fodders carried by one and you do this. Um, Actually, I probably will show this on the global one. But basically, what you do is um, you'll be able to farm uh, with three fodders, all the XP going there. And there are a few settings you can do, um, putting on repeat, challenging, even if the uh, attempt fails, and stop when the AG is max level. Um, that is one of the best things about this game where you can just leave it, let it go offline and do its thing. And um, you can come back and collect the rewards once you're done. And it honestly only takes about an hour to two hours maximum to get one of those units built. So I'll switch back to my global. And if we go into the sure event, uh, and I'll just showcase this because some people just want more examples. So if we go into, for example, X2, and uh, I do my fodder. What I'll do is I do AI combat 30. I click on challenge again and fail. Uh, devs, you should fix this typo, by the way. Uh, stop when it reaches max level and retire the three star or you can do four star and below equipments because they're useless at the moment. And uh, don't auto retire AG suits. That's where you get fodders and uh, refill with backup pots. And then you just do that and close the app, do whatever, it'll run in the background and the run will stop once these three are max leveled. And what I will do is before I um, rank them up, I will switch out to three fresh new fodders. So it's three fresh new robots. And then after that, I would go into AG and do the quick star up. Uh, but what you can also do is once you think you have enough fodders uh, leveled up, from three to four star, you also need five star fodders. So what will happen is you go to your fodder team and you look at the um, four star fodders that you leveled. So for example, let's take a look at my four star fodders. Uh, so here, and again, you can't use the same same. Um, so let's let them leave team uh, same unit. And this is why Alphos doesn't really work out because you can only use one of that. It's not bad to do that, I guess, in um, uh, in um, Centaur later when you can two or three men the teams. Uh, but for now, don't do that. And uh, here we go. Those are fodders I farmed up from level one to level 30 and they were level, uh, three stars. And now they're four stars because they were max level and fed dupes or sorry, fed fodders. So they're now four star where their level still 30 so it's uncapped you can then do ai combat again get these units to level 40 and then feed fodders into them the four star fodders and these will be five stars now and you can use uh, those five star new fodders to uh, feed your level 50 five star units and then get them to six star and then unlock level 60. So that is the most efficient run. You always do EX runs. That's the best way to spend stamina per fodder. Of course, all the fodder drops from EX runs and all the uh, currencies you get to exchange goodies. Um, outside of that, it's really not recommended to farm elsewhere um, unless you're going for unique equipment items and which I'll talk about in a different video. But yes, that is the updated fodder's guide hope it was straightforward a lot of people ask me you know how do i spend uh, stamina wisely and uh, i thought i should update this guy because for global um uh, I, I can record on the emulator versus uh, back then when i was traveling i only had the ipad and also wanted to get the video out to you guys uh, so yeah and other news my giveaway video will be the next video of um of the channel i will most likely release information about how I'm going to host it and give you guys giveaways on um, on the information for monthly packs. So stay tuned for that. I will host a $100 giveaway. So that's about 20 uh, monthly packs. So uh, we'll go with that.